Hi, I'm Patty Behan, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your scrap rack pages. I did this because I had um, some embellishments that didn't fit in the pages I had, but in order to make them fit, I made little pouches. And I'm going to show you how I did that to organize my ribbon scraps. So let's get started. Okay, what you're going to need for this project is a walnut hollow hot marks tool. This is a heated embellishment tool that comes with various tips to embellish paper, parchment, cardboard, leather, fabric, and a bunch of other surfaces. It even has little stamps um, with it that you can use. And I'm using the universal tip for this. And then the next thing you're going to need is a piece of glass to work on. And I took this out of a scrapbook frame that I had. It's 12 by 12. You'll also need a piece of graph paper to keep your line straight. Put that underneath the glass. A metal ruler. And then the page that you want to adjust. You want to lift up the flap and put something there to, to hold it in place. And then each one of my little pouches over here is three inches. So you're going to take your ruler and put it on the three inch line. I have a little ruler down at the bottom here that's helping me to do this. You put it right on the line and then you take your heat hot marks tool and you just apply even pressure and make sure it lays flat and you just follow the line and then until it melts you go slow and keep steady contact and then if you missed a spot you can go back and get it. And you might want to practice this before you actually do it on one of your pages. Take, take a piece of plastic and go ahead and do it. Okay, and now we go to the six inch mark. Start at the top, right where the um, page meets. Give steady pressure. And then You'll notice that there's smoke coming off there because some plastic gets on the tip. And you just want to make sure you're working in a ventilated area and um, you don't want to breathe in those fumes. And then last we're going to go to the 9 inch. Put the tip down, use slow and steady pressure until it melts. And then you're done. It's as simple as that. You have your, I don't know if you can see that well, you have your little pouches ready to go. And you can test it to make sure that it's um, melted. And I wanted to show you, I took the um, double extra long page and I made little pockets that'll fit these embellishments too. So you can customize them any way you want. And then that's it. It's as simple and easy as that. So I hope you enjoyed this tip and thanks for watching.